as I always do, and I can't decide. Mm. This one is called the Premium Integral 2. Interesting name. But I don't know, I discovered him like not too long ago. I finished it even before, like we got to. Then my cat broke my PC. Uh, so yeah. Probably early sep September. September. Or whatever it's pronounced. I think September, right? Or September. And uh, late August, probably somewhere there, I finished the LP. It was fun to be back in Skyrim. I played this match. I'm really thinking about going back and play this match in Oblivion as well. Although I did like the Return of the Necromancer and whatnot. Uh, not the Return, uh, it's the old LP. The Necromancer 2015, yeah. And it was like early in the spring 2015, I did the LP. Then in the summer 2015, that was the Thief LP, right? Yeah. And then I did this the w uh, big LP exploring everything, like adventure, whatever my char character was called, or his class. And I was using pretty much sword and the bow for uh, range attacks if I needed to. So the match would be kind of fitting. Also with the blunt weapons. Yeah, never really use the blunt weapons. But I don't really like them, that is the main point. I'm not a big fan of blunt weapons. They're slow. They're not fun. Yeah, they're not that fun to, to use to be honest. So uh, most of times I play like Guy with the sword with heavy arm, or heavy armor with the sword and shield, of course, not the two handed. Because I usually switch from two handed to sword and shield anyway, if I even want to do two handed. Or a mage, or some sort of mage. Because I really love magic in Oblivion. Especially the conjuration magic, oh, so much better than it's getting. So much better you can. Sound of skeleton, how not? And Skyrim, I don't really like it. Some of the stupid zo zombies from the corpses that you made. I mean, yeah, it makes more sense. Just uh, doesn't sound like some sort of skeleton or zombie from nowhere, like in Oblivion. I know. Still, I prefer the Oblivion way. It's much more fun to me. For me, I should say. Yeah. Much more enjoyable. Pirate LP was fun, and now it will actually be uh, better. Because there was like uh, some other mod, but it, it was fucking broken. Uh, these mods, I couldn't just get it working. The old one was broken, and I was pretty much stuck on my ship for forever. And I tried the new one, and new one was crashing my game like crazy. So yeah, I remember that it was like uh, 2014. In the winter, right? Like around the before the Christmas started the LP. Yeah. It was pretty much the full of LP that I did in the 60 FPS. Actually, try to like uh, disable the vertical sync in Oblivion and Skyrim, and the FPS wasn't really that high in Oblivion. It was like I don't know, like a 90 the most. And it's carrying something similar. 
but I think he went a lot better. But the drops under FPS are really rare. And Oblivion runs much better because he yeah, the processor is better. And as, as you know, Oblivion can use only one core of your processor. So, better processor, the more FPS you have actually have in towns where there is like a lot of people. Because if you saw my the Pirate LP, uh, the, the, these frame rates were really huge during the fight because there was like a lot of people fighting at the same time, like on these ships and whatnot. But damn, it's stuff was really fun. Also I did like the Sims 1 and Sims 2 3 years ago. And I'm thinking to go in back to them. Uh, not to them but the Sims the third game. I don't know you know what state is the fourth game currently, how many DLCs expansion well expansions expansions, right? Because this that's busy game so it's expansion of the DLC. The DLC is mostly the console term, of course, it's now on PC as well because of Steam and such. He just need one more mission and he will be maxed out, which is good. So, yeah. I don't know in what state the Sims 4 is currently. I really care, but I really would want to do the third game sometimes with a lot of the, uh, the expansions. Because the third game, in my opinion, what I look at it together with the expansions and whatnot, it was the pretty much the best Sims game. And it even uh, was the. The graphics were much, much better than on Sims 2, which. Uh, well, the Sims 4, because Sims 4 was look using like the same graphics as Sims 2, or if not even worse. I don't know why they decided to do that at Maxis, but it was uh, just a really strange step to just like uh, the people with the uh, potatoes can play it as well. Because I remember Sims 3 that the game was really intense on your computer, especially like that. Uh, the world travels or whatever the expansion was, something like the world travels. God damn, when you were going to some, some of the world destinations that a loading time was a long ass. That was just I don't know how well it will be running on my current PC. Probably pretty good. Uh, but before uh, I never played the Sims after I upgraded in the late 2014 two years ago. But before on my like two core process I don't know if I played it even if I upgraded to four core before to be honest, but yeah, it wasn't running that good. I mean, the base game was pretty alright. It was running fine. But yeah, that wasn't really that. But every fucking expansion, the like the requirements kept on rising and rising and rising for the fucking Sims game. The world travels or whatever. The one about traveling around the world was the first one that pretty much hit you hard hardware wise and then were all these others, the newest ones like from 2012-2013 and 2013 was the last one or was it already since 4 at the year? I don't know but yeah that game really had some high Hardware requirements. My current PC should be able to handle them, and the game should be also using more than one core. I hope at least two cores. Because the Sims 2, I'm pretty sure, was using only one core as well. Maybe two, I don't know. But it was a pretty old game as well. And I was playing it at high school, that game. And since one, I think I wasn't even in high school, maybe for the first year of high school, or not even in high school yet, when I was playing that game. But man, we did some, we have some fun with the game, with the first one and second one as well, with my sister and my cousins. 
the games that we really should have really played with my sister and cousins when they were at our house at summer vacation was always seems to we played a lot we pretty much take like half hour turns yeah to take care of our families and whatnot and then it was hero and my magic free we always played like made the two teams usually I played with my youngest cousin because yeah, after me she was the second best in that game so we usually easily beaten my other cousin and my sister <laughs> of course the Pokemon game especially the Pokemon Yellow that was the game that we used to play a lot then my cousin used to play a lot of Hero of Magic Magic 5 I never really got to the game, but a lot of people were saying that the game was actually pretty good. That they were saying like it was the second best game after the third one in the Hero of Mind and Magic, Hero of Mind and Magic series. I don't, I don't really know. I never really played that much. I only played for a while. It was pretty cool. The main character kind of reminded me, me of Arthas for some reason. Actually, in the Cutscene, you know. You know the big guy with the blonde hair, long blonde hair, sword, armor. <laughs> well, Arthas does have a hammer for him. when he was paladin, but then of course he got Frogmore, Frogmore hunger, right? <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. Not a bad game. I never really got into it. So I might actually go and do some like LP about it. Already did uh, the Hero of Mind Magic. Pretty much I did the War Restoration of Eratia. I did the War Armageddon Blade, but I didn't do the bonus one, the bonus mission. And that shit was really hard. Not the first mission, but the last one. But I couldn't get my character to get any spells or anything good that I wanted. It was really hard to get anything good on him for some reason. The young Christian guy or Christian whatever you pronounce his name. And then was the shadow of that which is pretty much the hardest of the hardest. The difficulty of this campaign is insane. But man it's all about the undead and the fucking Sandro if you remember him from other campaigns pretty much the main antagonist of that if I recall correctly but it was fun but still the with my and then my best friend I remember uh, me, my sister, my best friend we played Hero of Money Magic 3 for 7 hours straight it was the Viking map. It was a really good map. I think it was Shadow of Dead map, right? And that map was our top favorite because it was pretty much the map of Europe. And it was a great map. He always wanted to play as Orange because the Orange pretty much can get four castles, cost each other can build a huge army. He was uh, one of his favorite pick. I think green was the next one, yeah. He liked green ones. Then if he was orange I would have to pick tan pretty much. Because in this game it's called tan, not brown for some reason. Which isn't a great pick because you already have quite a few enemies around you, like blue, purple and whatnot, even the red can come. But you can go to Africa and get a free capital city if you, compre if you conquer it. Which was pretty good as well. Uh, then, or I. When I played alone, I usually played as Red. Because I found uh, playing as Red was the best. Pretty much with the first hero or two, I went for all the cities. Uh, that is, by the way, the Viking and go and crash the purple first to meet with my buddy 
blue and usually together or uh, I did take care of uh, the which one was it the blue guy as well if we needed to but these guys will block each other forever now or maybe not or maybe yes So yeah. It was really fun to do that, by the way. Or a uh, uh, green. Yeah, green was nice shot as well, but the purple have a really crappy position. Because the tan could attack you, blue could attack you, red could attack you. And of course the purple was the only one you couldn't control for some reason <laughs> and he was Russian by the way and he was Inferno you can already see the creators probably did not like Russia why is, are his beacons all? it's kinda strange maybe because he was blocked might be actually So yeah, it wasn't fun playing as green that much. Uh, also having my keyboard, it's not working at all. Okay, there we go. Fucking keyboard. Uh, it's this faggot. Yeah. You moron. fucking continue working on this field I'm going to kick your ass so yeah it really wasn't that fun to play as green although the green has the probably the best position because this gel on the house yeah the green guy is British by the way if you didn't know green is British the orange that my friend loves so much is Spanish the tan one is Italian, the blue one is France, purple is Russia, and the red is Vikings, aka Norway and Sweden. I think your hometown, uh, hometown, the first time you started is Oslo, right? If I recall correctly. France, of course, Paris is the first one. Spain, I think Madrid, right? As England, you start with London, of course. As Russia, Moscow. As Italy, Rome, I think. Or Venice? I think Rome. So, I did that. Probably the second hard, well, you can really play as purple, but the hardest one is the blue. Because the green can come from you from north on both, and of course, from southwest south you got the Spain, the orange, and southeast you got the tan. And of course, purple can always come for you as well from the east if you won't get fired by your ally a carrot 
but the blue always seems to like not really care about necropolis towns which I think there are like four he can get in France and he always go like for the German castles he always go for Germany which seems to be actually a good strategy for him because Germany is just like in, in the middle and everybody always want to take control of it like everybody seriously ok let's bring the chaff my cow pasture I guess I still have like more money, or am I just seeing things? I guess I'm just seeing things, I don't know. I feel like the hell really helps. Which is good. So yeah, here I am talking about the Heroes of Mario Magic map that probably uh, nobody of you knows even about if he knows about this game as well but you can actually watch it, I did a LP on my channel I think I played it right, right? yeah, I believe I played it actually the blue was really, blue was doing really well in the LP as well Usually the most annoying to take care of and the last one uh, when you press the red is in the south either orange or most likely ten because they will take Africa you know and all these small eyes over there and the green because you always go like for Reykjavik and it's like really in the northwest most northwestern corner of the map which is also kinda annoying Yeah, so it's literally an eye, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, the track might get stuck on this. Now when I think about this... I should probably send some sort of tractor over there as well. Are ah, they blocking each other again? Okay, they were, but they are not anymore. Good. Oh, there is this tip, this tip over here that I'm not even using. I might as well take it and then get some other one from the farm yeah, why the heck not the my wood failure over here let's not talk about it anymore <laughs> Yeah, let's not talk about it anymore. Yeah, you are not done. Which one are you? The sewing guy, yeah. You ain't dying yet, buddy. Now this will be full in no time. It's only like 31,000 capacity, right?
Yes, indeed it is. Yeah, these people are pretty close to each other. Or when the people are turning like that, it seems to block each other quite well. I will do something special for the field 22. Alright, talk about it. You probably might know what I'm going to do. Of course, I will need money for it later on as well. <laughs> oh, it's a bug again. Fucking shop. Oh, that was completely something wrong. I didn't want to pick up. There we go. Let's refill that bad boy. Turn around, buddy. Actually, which one has bigger capacity? Let's see. Forty-seven thousand, forty-four thousand. Can take job as well. How we never get stuck on this house? I wonder about that. I bet he won't get stuck on it. Yeah, fucking jinx it. Anyway, guys, 
thank you for watching and as always I'll see you next time so goodbye